Yep, that's me, Robbie Fox. You're probably wondering how I got into this mess. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. It's Robbie Fox with Barstool Sports, an American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida, ahead of MMA's richest night, PFL Championship night. Six million dollars on the line in six title fights. It all goes down on Black Friday, November 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Pay-Per-View. And in the main event, Kayla Harrison will take on Larissa Pacheco for the third time. Kayla's beat her twice already, both by decision. She's been one of the few fighters in MMA that Kayla isn't able to finish. On the other hand, Larissa's beaten everyone not named Kayla Harrison, and she's looking to prove herself towards something like her legacy in this title fight. I can't wait. I'm going to go join Kayla in the gym in just a second, but I got to get a little fight ready first. All right, obviously this hair is going to get in my face if I get in a cage with her, so go get some fighter braids put in. Never got my hair braided before. Hopefully you don't cry. Hopefully I don't cry. What does that mean? <laughs> I think I'm gonna show up to the gym and she's gonna be like, wow, I didn't realize like how serious this interview was. I feel like getting the hair braided is like 90% of the work leading into a fight. Oh yeah. Looking good. Harrison. Oh, Robbie. What's going on? What's up, kid? Great to see you. Great to see you, too. I got the braids on. I'm fight ready. Yeah, you gonna show me a thing or two? I can, yeah, if you want me to. Okay, come on. Welcome to, my, uh, welcome to my world. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight? Yes. Dad? Yeah. Like that? He's gonna get it, guys. He's gonna get it. Boom. Yeah. Took Kayla Harrison down in her own gym. In her own gym, in her own cage. You didn't tap? I didn't tap to that. I should have. I almost got knocked out. No, I gotta be careful. You can get the fight coming up. Where are my glasses? I can't see shit. Do you know what an arm bar is? Never heard of it. I could show you an arm bar. Okay. Alright. Typical jujitsu uh, warm-up. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab you like this. Okay. Like this. To get you down. <laughs> This is an arm bar, ladies and gentlemen. Perfectly executed, did not see it coming. And if I were to extend, she's, she, her arm snaps. Like this? You can't get me with my own move. I can't? No. <laughs> you cannot arm bar me, Kayla. Oh, maybe you can. Kayla Harrison fighting Pashenko for the third time now. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel bad beating someone over and over and over again? No. Do you feel for the fact that Pashenko's gonna have to miss out on Thanksgiving and catch an ass whooping? No. Do you like cranberry sauce? Love it. It's sus. What? Yeah. What do you fight for? Legacy. I was looking for a million dollars. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, I win that. Like, I have two Olympic gold medals. I have two PFL world titles. I get in a cage and I fight because it's what I love and I want to see how far I can go. And this is your final season with the PFL in the season format, unless, of course, you decide to pull a Tom Brady and unretire on our asses. Do you plan to pull a Tom Brady? I'm not retiring. I'm just not going to do the season. From the season, season y'all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless something crazy happens and... Uh, like we... if you wanted to pull a Tom Brady. Right. How long has your camp been for this fight? Pretty much since January of this year, I've been training twice a day, every day. You sleep in the gym? Sometimes I wish I did so that I could sleep in, but no. Why do they call it a camp then? <laughs> what do you think the largest mammal you could beat in a fight is? I mean, I believe I can beat anybody. You could put King Kong in here. You think you could beat a gorilla? I think I'd find a way. Have you seen the Planet of the Apes movies? No, because I don't watch stupid movies. Stupid movies? <laughs> That's savage. That's absolutely savage. So what do you do in your free time? 
when I'm not training, I'm, I'm with my kids. Always, yeah. You live close to the gym and everything? Yeah, actually, you should come check it out. I think it's... Come over to your house? Yeah, would you like to? You can meet my kids. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. All right, All let's right. do it. I'll cool. see you there. Yeah. Oh, hello. What's up? Come in, come in. Thank you. So glad you're here. Actually, I could use a little bit of help uh, out in the barn with the chickens. Um, and then maybe the chickens, if we have time, yeah. we'll... Whatever, yeah. yeah. Sure, whatever you're thinking, yeah. But you might want to put on something a little more comfortable. So I got... All right, yeah. All right. Yeah. You're going to look All so right. good. Yeah. I can't wait. Turns out one of MMA's most feared fighters lives on an adorable farm in Coconut Creek, Florida. She invited me out back to check out the chickens and lend her a hand. So, oh, there they are. What's the deal with Curly and Mo? Robbie, you come with me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this one's the crazy one. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this one's freaking out a little too. Did you know that? Chickens are the closest relatives to dinosaurs, trained killers. I'm gonna put them down, and then I want you to try and catch them again. Okay, so you won't just go up and catch one? Yep. All right. <laughs> Be cool. Be cool. Roosters are fast. Oh! <laughs> wow! Okay, round of applause. That round of is applause. He's a, a rooster natural. catching for the ages. He's not a natural fighter, but he's that a natural was, that farmer. Was, that was pretty good. Natural born farmer. That was pretty good. I'm so impressed Whoa. right now. All right, we're done doing yard work, done working on the farm, here to talk about the fight. You've done this before, you've made it to the finals before, you've won the championships before. Do you feel any kind of different pressure this time around? No, I mean, I've already, I've already beaten this girl twice. What is she good at? Like, how would you describe her as a fighter? I think she's strong, powerful, you know, she's a heavy hitter, she's got a lot of confidence, she's coming off five straight knockouts. One of the few women that you haven't finished in the cage, is that the goal this time? You, you wanna really put an exclamation mark on it? Yeah, TKO, KO, or submission for sure. You mentioned legacy, you fight for legacy. What is that legacy that you wanna leave? I'm chasing greatness. I'm chasing the best possible version of myself. Every day I wake up and I wanna be the best mother I can be, the best daughter I can be, the best fighter I can be. And it's not me against Larissa in that cage, it's me against me. You know, when I step in that cage, that's when I feel the most Kayla. Would you ever allow your kids to follow in your footsteps? No. That's a definite no? I mean, they're really gonna have to love it. Like, it's gonna have to be like a burning, burning desire. Okay, now that the kids are gone, has yeah. anyone ever shit themselves in the ring with you? Uh, not to my knowledge. I'll just be brutally honest with you. Sometimes, like, you're if you're like fighting or something like that, and like, what if you fart or what if you? Have you, you ever know? done that? I mean, I don't personally fart, so um, no. But I'm sure a lot of people do. This is why I don't watch Barstool. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> One final question. What is your official prediction for the fight? Kayla Harrison, pure domination. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna instill my will one round at a time, one minute at a time, one exchange at a time, one breath at a time, and I'm gonna break her. I can't wait. You could watch it all on ESPN Plus pay-per-view on November 25th, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's gonna be a hell of a night. MMA's richest night, six title fights, six million dollars given away.